so how can we put this into a little bit more realistic training in a classroom environment? So I like to use this with you know, some PowerPoint, kind of push the people, see what type of speed they have on from non-traditional drawing positions. So here's one of the drills that we would incorporate in a classroom. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna set up uh, our target, but I'm gonna define that the target is gonna have to be a headshot. Right, I want either a neck or headshot to incapacitate, and so. But I'll also reset my target here so we can do some time stuff. So I have two targets set up, and I'm going to set them. Uh, I'm going to go up and change one for the reset. So number two is going to be my clear and continue because this is where we'd have the recruits do a bunch of reps on how quickly can they get the gun out. And we can set up different times, start at three seconds, work down to two seconds. So we have here, we have our two targets set up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to a random start time with par. And let's see if we can get uh, two rounds on the target. All right, so we're gonna go back in. And I wanna get, um, we'll do a target down, but I want two headshots in a certain amount of time. So we're gonna to go to options. We have our two rounds, it has to be on the head, right? And it's gonna be timed. We can also add the diagnostics to see how much I'm pulling the trigger. It's gonna be a one-handed shot, most likely, so we'll see what happens. So we have our part time set up. Let's start with a slower time. It'll be from the holster. Okay, we're cleared here. So. Again, this would be one that I'm gonna to have to shoot the target, get the gun in the holster, and be ready to shoot at the head. So let's start here, all right? I'm gonna to get to a seated position, all right? And I'll have to shoot target number two, or in this case, five. Get the gun in the holster. All right, so I'm looking at my times, 1.52 from the First hit to the second is 172. The, I'm gonna change one thing, and that's gonna be the, the start time. And the reason is that I have to holster my gun. So as I go back in, I'm gonna change the delay. So the delay here is between two and three seconds, but if I'm gonna holster my gun, uh, I probably need a little bit more time, so I'm gonna give it uh, three seconds, and I'll do the three. To, to six, so that gives me a little bit of time to get the gun back in the holster. All right, let's try that, see how it works. All right, clear the screen, ready to go. Okay, so I'm facing the table this time. All right, I'm gonna shoot, get it back, lock everything down. Oh, look at that, 2.41, 2.59. I need to practice, so let's do it again. Okay. Ah, better. One seven three one eight nine. All right. Try it again. All right. So let's take a look at the target. Pretty good times. One five one one six nine. But as we look at the target. Am I sweeping much? Still pretty good tightness, a little bit yellow to the left with one handed, could be expected. So what can I change to make it different? I can now change my chair to where maybe I'm now gonna be seated um, this way, to where I'm not the person facing the threat. So now I'm just changing one position, but now I have to shoot directly to my right. So I'll start, holster, All right, so it's making a little bit different position, and I can continue to turn and work all the different positions, right, to where I have to work different positions, all right? All right, so it gives the recruits a chance to work a lot of different positions. One, getting the uh, retention off of their holster, getting it out, seeing if it is it two hands shooting better. Well, from this position, two hands fine, all right? 
right? But from the other positions, probably one hand's gonna be a little bit quicker. All right, one drill to try, enjoy.